Praise be to the holy name of the Lord. My dear precious brother and sister, I greet you all in the blessed name of our Lord Jesus. I thank God for his compassion and mercy for making us to see another month alive. Many did have this opportunity to praise or thank God, but God has chosen us to glorify his mighty name. How great our God is. The main topic for our morning manna is blessedness of trusting in God. And for this, we are going to meditate the book of Psalms chapter 21 and verse 7. from our holy bible for the king trusted in the lord a simple definition for trusting in god is stated in this verse trusting in god is our mind staying on god if we see the old testament saint noah noah found mercy or grace as he looked to the eyes of the lord and was able to live a perfect life in his generation some find it difficult to live a just and perfect life as they do not look to the eyes of the lord and as they don't trust in him they lack grace when our mind stays on the lord we receive the grace to realize our own emptiness and god's fullness if we see the james chapter 4 verse 6 god resisteth the proud but giveth grace unto the humble trusting in god looking to the eyes of god for mercy our mind staying on god humbling ourselves all these mean more or less the same thing perfect peace is another blessing we get from trusting in god in original language perfect peace is rendered as shalom 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 means peace wholeness completeness and good health which we have already discussed in our earlier meditations so if we trust in the lord we have a double perfect portion of his peace and good health perhaps the most blessed text on the blessings we receive by trusting in the lord can be seen in the book of psalms chapter 21 verses 6 and 7 thou hast made him most blessed for forever thou hast made him exceeding glad with thy countenance for the king trusteth in the lord consider the verse most and forever those who trust the lord are most blessed now and in eternity no one can expect a greater blessedness or a blessedness for a long period but those who trust in the lord are made blessed yeah most blessed and they are made glad yeah exceeding glad with his countenance so those who trust in the lord are most blessed and exceeding glad people irrespective of the problems they face and the burdens they carry if so those who do not trust in the lord and kept their trust in the arms of flesh are most miserable and exceeding sad people dear children of god if you see the main verse for the king trusted in the lord indeed those who trust in the lord are not ordinary people but they are kings so let us renew our faith by keeping a trust in our almighty lord jesus may god bless all of us show his mercy and bless us throughout this month and also in all the works we do amen Ye saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in His excellent word. What more can He say than to you He has said? To you who for refuge to Jesus have fled. Still give the aid. I'll strengthen thee, help thee, and cause thee to stand. Upheld by my gracious, omnipotent hand. When true. What is I call thee to go The rivers of sorrow shall not overflow For I will be with thee thy trouble to bless 
and sanctified to thee thy deepest distress. When through fiery trials thy pathway shall lie, my dreams on selfish shall be thy supply. The flesh shall not harm thee, I only desire thy cross to cleanse you. The soul that on Jesus doth lean for repose, I will not, I will not desert to his foes. That soul, no all hell, should endeavor to shame. I'll never, no, never, no, never forsake.